Ah yes, GTA 6, a video topic which is used more than a flashlight. Hundreds of conspiracy videos and quote unquote news videos have been made about the game, but still, Rockstar has not even hinted at a release date or if it's even in development yet. But why, you may ask? Why would Rockstar and Take Two not want to release GTA 6? Well, you have came to the right place. Here is three reasons why GTA 6 will not be releasing anytime soon, and let's get straight into today's video. So the first reason is because of the current installment's online mode. GTA Online has been out for a long, long time and still brings in over 150,000 daily players from Steam alone. That doesn't include Social Club or Epic Games. With these high levels of players logging in constantly, we can safely assume that they are selling loads of shark cards on the daily, and that assumption would be correct, with the game managing to rake in over $500 million in microtransactions in 2019 alone, which is absolutely just unbelievable. And with these figures only seeming to be rising every time Rockstar or Take Two makes a new DLC or update, you can see why they are not in any rush to make a brand new game when their current installment is bringing in the big money, the big bucks. But it's not just this. GTA 5 Expanded and Enhanced will be arriving very shortly, which is just a slightly better looking and also more stable variation of the current installment. Or that's what it should be. Hopefully we won't have a repeat of the Trilogy Remaster. And to be honest, it's highly unlikely Rockstar or Take 2 would create a remaster of their current title then shortly after release a brand new addition to the franchise. It just would make no logical sense to anyone. Now the second reason is down to the development of the game, which from inside sources and leakers seems to be underway. But numerous different insiders on Twitter and for a variety of game article publishers have said the project has been very chaotic, with numerous complete restarts and a combination of small and large issues have delayed any real significant progress. Now if we are going off the old Rockstar at least, they like things being perfect with every small detail being implemented perfectly and they usually don't release half-assed games. So if GTA 6 is no exception to that, then this is not good for the release date. Although I would rather have the game be late to be released and be a masterpiece than release in 11 months, be rushed and be a stale or mediocre game. Because we have seen developers in recent times give in to the pressure from fans to release games before they are really ready. A few examples include Anthem and Cyberpunk. Although I have heard Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk has gotten a bit better, but that's besides the point. I just hope whenever the game releases, it's 100% finished and isn't full of game breaking bugs. Now on to the third reason is something that was completely out of Rockstar's control and that was the COVID-19 pandemic. I think it's safe to say that the pandemic has affected us all at least in some way good or bad but for the video game companies and industry as a whole it was both good and bad. On one hand, more people were stuck indoors, inside because of the stay at home orders, so people resorted to video games to cure their boredom, so it meant game servers were even more packed than usual, and that's more people likely to either buy new games or spend money on microtransactions like shark cards or DLCs, stuff like that. But on the other hand, major projects, including GTA 6, would have been affected as offices would have been closed and developers would have been forced to work from home, which would have impeded progress as there was no way they could safely collaborate in person or in an office, a creative environment, without the chance of spreading coronavirus or breaking the rules in whatever country they were in. With all this going on, it meant projects and big plans would have had to be pushed back to a later date, but with lockdowns and restrictions being in place for longer than initially expected, these projects, which included things relating to GTA 6, have now been pushed back over 6, 7, 8 months, almost to a year now so a even longer wait seems very likely, unfortunately. But like I said earlier in the video, I would rather the game takes another few years and be perfect than it come out in 11, 12 months and be a pile of horseshit. But what are your thoughts? Do you think Rockstar will or should release the game soon? Or should they wait and take their time? Leave all those views in the comment section as I will be reading, hearting, liking and replying to all of the comments on this video. But that's all for today's video and like always guys, take care everyone and have a great day.